First off, you need to know that I live in a poor Eastern European country, in a big city, but in a bad neighborhood. At least that's what I've been told. I've never actually encountered any creepy individuals that would want to do me any harm. Just your usual vandals and troublemakers. Never anyone serious. I'm also still a teenager and live with my parents, but growing up in this environment, I consider myself to be quite street smart. That feature has helped me whenever I was in trouble. It turned out to be very useful today. At about 3 p.m., my dad left for ping pong practice, and I knew that he'd be back around 8 p.m. He usually goes for a beer with his friends afterwards to chill, and coincidentally, my older brother and mom left to help one of my friends clean up the place after a New Year's party. I should have come along, but today I felt a bit sick, and I decided I should stay in. In reality, I was very hungover, but my mom doesn't know that. That was probably the luckiest I've ever been. You'll find out why in a minute. So all of my family leaves except me. Naturally, I've been home alone before, so that doesn't really make me uneasy at all. But having been a long-time reader of this subreddit, I take more precaution than I used to, i.e., check to see if the door is closed, turn off the lights when not needed. The evening goes just like any other. I'm re-watching some episodes of Skins, the UK version, duh, when suddenly I feel the urge to get a snack. Just behind my apartment complex, there's a very well-known supermarket on which I can easily rely on whenever I'm in deep need of a snack. So that is like a five-minute walk. I put on my coat and some flip-flops, and I'm out. It's freezing balls outside, and I can see the bright lights of the supermarket in the distance. But something was off. In front of the automatic doors, there was a small, robust figure. As I got closer, I could distinguish his face. It was this man's face I've seen before. I remember him countless times, roaming around our block of flats, but never actually thought anything of it. He was dressed poorly and was staying in front of the doors as if he was guarding them. I asked if the supermarket was still open and he pointed at a paper which was clipped near the schedule. It said it closed at 6 p.m. due to the holiday season. It was 6.20 p.m. I let out a sigh and wanted to turn around to go home, but he told me in an alarmed voice that there was a very close boutique next to the supermarket. I told him that I didn't need anything important and that I would come back tomorrow, but he kept on insisting and saying it's a two-minute walk from there, all the while staring at me in a weird manner. That was the first red flag, but I found a logical explanation in my mind, thinking that maybe the man was very eager to help me. Maybe, so that I'd give him some money. That sort of made sense in my mind, but I was still alert. So I walked to the boutique and took whatever I could find fastest, paid, wished the shop owner a happy new year, and left in a hurry. As time passed, I was getting more and more nervous for some reason. I guess it was just my gut telling me that something... Something was off. What really made me switch was the fact that I had been gone for about five minutes, and as I was passing the supermarket, the guy who was usually roaming the area was nowhere to be seen. At that point, I started jogging towards my apartment, all the while trying to calm myself and imagining plausible explanations as to why this guy was not there anymore. I got to the bottom of the stairs of the front door, and in the distance, I'm short-sighted, I noticed a tall, dark figure entering the elevator and at the same time almost planned the automatic light switched off. I desperately ran towards the interphone and clumsily got my keys out to open the door. As I ran to the elevator, it was still running. I live on the seventh floor. I could see it go up to the third, then the fourth, then the fifth, then it stopped. I let out a big sigh of relief, but was still skeptical, so I took the stairs. As I was walking up the stairs, almost laughing, I noticed that above me, the light on the sixth floor was turned on. That was a bit curious, but I kept on walking. Suddenly, I saw the light on the seventh floor turned on, and I stopped. I looked above and hoped that whoever it was would go to the eighth floor. A minute passed, which felt like hours, and the light on the seventh floor was still on. I decided to take action, so I ran all the way up to my floor 
and I saw something that almost made me pass out. The tall, dark figure was kneeling at my doorknob, trying to what I presumed to be lockpick my door. In these kind of situations, I rarely get angry. I just want whatever is going on to stop. So from afar, I shout a very weak, Hey! And the guy, in an instant, turns around and stands up. I see him for a split second, and he looks fucking terrifying. Long black trench coat, a hat, and leather gloves. He smiles at me and reveals his yellow unkept teeth. He fucking smiles at me. Do you know that stomach-turning feeling when you stumble upon something that is so scarily out of this world and wrong that you can't just not look, but you want to? That was that, amplified by a thousand. I was shitting my pants and, to my surprise, the man took off running. Before he reached the stairs, he mumbled a, Sorry and got away. I was still in shock and couldn't follow him or call the police, or even move for that matter. I easily got to the door of my apartment and noticed a pin was still stuck in there. Yep, he was definitely trying to get into my house. Who knows what he wanted to do. My parents won't be back for about two more hours, and I'm not sure if I should tell them or even call the cops. Thinking in retrospective, I think this tall man and the man in the front of the supermarket may have conducted a plan. It would have been all too convenient for him to catch me off guard like that. Either way, that's a scary thought. One thing is for certain, I will be keeping a bat in my room from now on. So much for New Year's resolutions. So, tall, dark man that wanted to enter my home, uninvited, let's not meet. Edit. I've called my parents first, and while they were away... They said to get home ASAP, told me that I should call the cops right after they hang up, and they told me to make sure all of the doors were locked, and also that they called a neighbor from the second floor, a very nice old lady, to keep me company until the police arrives. I've talked to the officer and explained the situation, and also showed him the lockpick, and he took it as evidence. I also gave a detailed description of the man from the supermarket, and I tried to describe the lockpicker himself. But that was still in a blur. He said that he'll leave some of his men to patrol the area. I was lucky he was very nice about it. Police here usually aren't. Stay sinful.